Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers, and this is the RPG Game Dev Mixed Bundle from the Game Dev Marketplace. On top of that, we also have two bonus bundles uh, from Fanatical. We'll get back to them in just a minute, but first, the RPG Game Dev Bundle. Now, this is from the Game Dev Marketplace. It's a collection of uh, mostly sprite-based art packs, but we've also got a couple of sound effect packs in here as well. It's organized into uh, three tiers, but truth of the matter is, this $20 middle tier is pretty stupid. So you're either going to buy the $1 tier, which is a decent deal or the full deal for uh 25 bucks so we're going to jump in we're not going to go into a huge amount of detail on each art asset here uh, but what we will cover is the license which is the very important part of all of this uh, if you don't know how this works humble bundle is a collection of stuff organized into tiers uh you buy a high dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it uh you decide how your money is allocated between humble the charity the publisher and if you so choose and thank you so much if you do to help support game from scratch so here we got the one dollar tier you get eight items at this tier uh including some sprite packs by the way any one of these you can drill down and learn a little bit more about it so uh, head bodies and so on that you can always kind of mix and match to go together and create character sprites in this particular case um and then we got some uh top down 2d art style stuff here nice thing is most of these art styles all mesh together uh so if you uh buy the higher tier you're gonna find more 2d uh, top down style uh tile sets that work well with something like uh level editor or lead uh ldtk um and tiled so on if you need to uh, use these to create maps. Also, of course, you can use them with Godot, Unity, and so on with their built-in 2D tile mapping tools as well. Plus, we get a couple of icon packs, a couple more character sprites down here, and then this is the first sound effects pack, which is uh, Orcs and Beast sound effect packs. As I mentioned, there is a middle tier, but given that it has a $21 price tag to add 12 more items, what you are instead going to do is add 26 more items for additional $3.50 more. So this is the only bundle you're going to buy. I'm going to cover both of these tiers together. So you're either going to get $1 or $25 for the way this one is set up. Now here what you're going to see, you get this huge, uh, this is a pack of packs, basically a lot of character sprites and so on, but some uh, other effects are built in there as well. Um, and the, here you're getting cartoon RPG characters, another uh, battling style. The one thing you're going to find here, these art styles are a little bit different, so a little bit less commonality there. Ditto here for these RPG style characters, but here you're getting 80 plus RPG role-playing characters with animations as well. A bunch more icons, a number of pixel characters as well probably meshes mostly with this particular art style here uh, you do have one kind of uh less compatible thing here so the nice thing here is you got this giant sound effects uh package here i think that's eight thousand game ready sound effects uh some music packs sound effect packs magic spells and so on some uh, ui toolkits for creating rpg games uh, we've got some more top down tile sets going on here and a couple more characters uh another a pile tile set there as well the only one that really kind of doesn't mesh with everything else is there is one single uh isometric pack here so the uh 2D isometric tile pack here uh, is grounds, roads, trees, and so on. Definitely useful if the isometric style is what you're going for, but the majority of these are top-down style graphics packs. Uh, but for the most part, a very um, cohesive set of icons and uh, pixel styles that you should be able to use together. Uh, decent uh, collection of sound effects in here as well. So if you're thinking about creating a top-down RPG style game, or you're looking for UI elements such as icons and UI uh, things, uh, this could be a good pickup for you. Uh, again, it all comes down to the license. I am not a lawyer, uh, but I, this one is pretty straightforward to explain. I, I would check it out yourself, obviously, uh, but it boils down to you can use these assets in whatever style game or product you wish it does not need to be uh, commercial but it can be commercial you can put it in multiple projects so you don't need to have one license per project so you can create 20 games out of this there are a couple of limitations on what you can't do uh, you can't use the assets in a logo trademark or service mark so if you're going to create you know your game company's logo you can't use any of these assets as part of that process um, also you cannot basically redistribute sub license them so that means you can't put these up for sale on another asset store as assets you can of course use them in a game that you ship no problem in that regard although you cannot have them uh, extractable for outside use so that means you also could not put these as part of a uh, open source project for example you could actually obviously open source your code but you could not redistribute these assets as part of an open source project as an example but for the most part you want to use them a commercial or non-commercial project and multiple projects you can do so at your whim now the one thing i don't understand completely and it's never really clear with these uh, licenses is if you're working with a team of people how many 
many people need a license. I believe only one that's directly working with the art assets, but I would want to verify that one way or the other. So that is the packet. That is the license the pack is under. Very straightforward for the most part. Now, the two other ones we have also going on at Fanatical. Uh, one is the Low Poly and Unity Game Assets Bundle. The description does say that you can use these outside of Unity as well, if you wish. Uh, what you're seeing here mostly is tile packs. So you see here, you got realistic material packs going on here, here, and here. And then we've got some low polygon background stuff, a bunch of icon sets uh, for FPS, fantasy runes, sci-fi, and horror style games. So if you need some more asset uh, icon style stuff, it's available here as well. We've got some LUTs, a very um, random assortment of stuff in this one. Uh, this one is stylized low polygon weapons. Um, vector-based graphics, and then again, more material packs. So definitely worth checking out if you are working uh, with Unity. If you want to drill down details on any of these things, basically click it and you can find out exactly what's in there. So for example, this one contains 50 materials, 150 seamless textures. It's I think that's the star of the show here. If you're looking to add to your... Um, your texturing library. And again, textures, uh, they may not work as direct material. So these will be provided as Unity materials, but these are also just ping files. So you can use PNG in, um, you know, Unreal Engine, Godot, whatever game engine you wish. So uh, that part is definitely nice here. Uh, you can use these commercially, by the way. It does say that they are specifically for Unity, but they're not requiring. Uh, so you can see here, much of it is compatible with Unreal Engine and other software. So you could use this with whichever game engine you want, even though Unity is in the title. And again, this one is organized into tiers and it's based off the number of items you get so you're looking here uh to get everything 20 products it's 12 bucks so obviously a good deal in that regard especially if you're looking for some materials to work with uh, and then the other one we got here is the beginning game design e-learning bundle i don't actually uh, know anything about these courses i've never done them myself but what you will find is they're covering some topics that aren't covered that often so we got two courses on sfml and we've got two courses on cocos 2dx both c plus based frameworks uh, so if you're looking there that could be a good pickup and then we've got also uh, two courses on using 3JS, which is a JavaScript 3D engine. Uh, this one is for creating a 3D RPG style game. And this one is for creating a racing game with physics. Uh, so again, you see their, their normal pricing being $400. Normally that's complete BS. But as you can see, for 11 bucks, you can get some decent training materials here as well over on Fanatical. Now, again, I don't have any experience with the company that's providing the training, so I can't tell you how good it is, but there's not a lot of material out there for SFML or Cocos 2DX or even really 3JS. So if you're looking for uh, training material for those game frameworks, uh, this one is definitely worth considering as well. And if you've used these guys before and you have an opinion on it, please let me know in the comments down below. But again, the star of the show today is definitely this guy right here, uh, which is is the, um, what was the name of this guy again? The RPG Game Dev Mixed Bundle. Uh, mostly cohesive art style here. Uh, you might find, again, this art style doesn't particularly mesh uh, with some of the low polygon sprite packs for sure. Uh, but nice thing here is everything that for the most part that you've seen includes a bunch of animations as well. Uh, all this stuff can be downloaded multiple times from Humble and Humble servers tend to be pretty quick. And as we mentioned earlier on, the license is pretty liberal in what it allows you to do. So if you're looking to create a 2D RPG style game, it could be a good bundle for you to pick up. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.